guys, it's Bacola and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about probably one of the most important parts of getting a job as a software developer and also an important part of upgrading your skills as a developer as well. And that is learning and understanding data structures and algorithms. I'm going to be real with you, the best thing I did for myself during my transition process was taking a data structures and algorithms class and that class has paid off dividends. The truth is a lot of questions you're going to get asked during the interview process are based on data structures and algorithms. So in this video, I'll be sharing the strategy that I use to learn and master. I don't even know. I don't like the word master. <laughs> to learn data structures and algorithms and to just really make sure that it's stuck with me going forward. In this video, I'll be sharing a three-part strategy. It's going to be a little thorough, but I promise you if you can do all three steps in this strategy, you'll create a really strong base for yourself when you're applying for jobs and also you'll just have a strong base for data structures and algorithms going forward. There is a study in 2016 by Triplebyte that shared that during the interview process, people from untraditional backgrounds specifically boot camps, their biggest weakness was in data structures and algorithms. Because untraditional folks like me haven't taken or like usually don't get access to taking data structures class, it makes it kind of difficult for us to do well during the interview process. So while you're making your transition, I would highly recommend take a data structures and algorithms class. Take a lot of time to really learn the topics of it and make it stick. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. But before I hop in, I want to thank my sponsor FastHost for sponsoring Sponsoring this video. I'll be giving more details about Fast Hosts in the video, and I'll also be talking about a way you can win the Ultimate Tech Bundle PC setup later on in this video. Let's hop right into the video. Okay, so step one of this three part process to make the data structures and algorithms really stick is. First, you want to take a class and gain general understanding of data structures and algorithms. When I was doing the process, the class that I chose to take was this UC Berkeley data structures and algorithm class. This class was very thorough. It was pretty difficult, but it was a really good class for really understanding and learning data structures and algorithms. I also read these two books, but I felt like I preferred the class because I learned a little bit easier from videos rather than reading books. So my first step in making it really stick is if you're from an intraditional background, you have never taken a data structures and algorithms class, I'll leave a couple recommendations down below. While you're taking the class though, it's not enough to just take the class. It's really important to take really detailed notes on the class. So the next part of this part one of really understanding and learning data structures, I'll be talking about how to structure your notes so that you can really gain a lot from the class. When you're writing your notes, please, please, please do not use anyone else's notes. There are a lot of great notes online for learning data structures and algorithms, but if it's your first time learning a topic, I would try to take your own notes on the topic and then maybe in the future reference other people's notes. So when you're taking your own notes, these are a couple of things you want to make note of. You want to have a brief overview of the data structure or algorithm. So in plain English, explain like you would explain to a five-year-old what this data structure is. Then what you want to do is you want to have some sort of, especially for your advanced data structures that are a little bit harder to explain with words, you want to actually have like either coding visualizer or the actual picture of the data structure right next to the English description of the data structure. Now going to even more important parts, after you have an overview of the data structure, you have an image of the data structure. The next thing you want to do is you want to explain why this data structure exists. I know this is kind of like weird and abstract, but you want to know why would you choose this data structure over other data structures? So you can either have a pros and a cons list about why this data structure is like a good data structure, what are the weaknesses of this data structure as well. You also want to make sure to write down what is this data structure slash algorithm optimized for. We all know that data structures exist to organize data and to maximize speed and optimize space. And certain data structures are really good at different operations. Some data structures are better with retrieval, insertion, access, deletion, etc. You want to make sure that in this second part, to really deepen your knowledge, you know why this data structure actually exists. Next thing you want to do is you want to have a chart explaining the big O of the different operations for this data structure. What's the big O of the insertion? What's the big O of access? What is the big O of deletion? You want to make sure that you have the big O analysis of every operation written down for this data structure as well. Now, finally, the last step of taking your notes for this data structure algorithm is actually writing this out data structure slash algorithm, coding it from scratch. 
By quoting it from scratch, this really helps round out your notes because not only do you have the English version of what it looks like, picture version of what it looks like, you also know what it looks like in code. And this for me really helped a lot of data structures and algorithms stick for me. It's a very tedious process, but I promise you, if you build a linked list from scratch and someone asks you about insertion for a linked list, you will know that it's constant time because you've actually written the function that actually inserts a node in a linked list. So it's another way of making sure that you really solidify the knowledge and you really solidify the information. Great, so we've written these structured notes. Now let's go on to the next step. So before I hop into the next process, I do want to make sure to give a shout out to my sponsor. Thank you Fast Host for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Fast Host, Fast Host is a UK based web hosting company that offers a wide range of web hosting products and other services. And they provide effective and affordable hosting solutions to suit any needs. I want to take the time to talk about this amazing giveaway that Fasthost is doing. If you are in the UK, you have the chance to win the ultimate tech bundle, which includes your dream PC setup, and it's worth up to £5,000. I feel like that's pre a pretty good deal, especially if you're programming. Having good equipment and having a good computer can really help you in the process. But to win this ultimate tech bundle, what you need to do is that you need to be able to answer this techie tech question that I wrote. So what is the original name of the internet? If you know the question to that, make sure to look at the link in my description box and enter to apply for this Ultimate Tech Bundle. The next step of the process is creating flashcards based on your notes. Like I said, your notes are going to be very important and your flashcards are going to be also a way of really memorizing and deepening the knowledge of these data structures and algorithms. Using flashcards can really help you with space rep repetition. This is a way of just kind of taking your learning to the next step because you have a general overview of each topic. But now you get to practice the knowledge of these different topics through spaced repetition. It's just another way of just making sure that you can memorize information. What it does is that the information that is newer, you might not have learned it, or the cards that you don't always get right are the cards that you see more frequently so that you can learn. But the cards that you have gotten right very frequently and are older, those are the cards that you see less. So I'd recommend just having flashcards because this really helps solidify your knowledge. And you can also come back to them a couple years later when you're applying for jobs again. After you've gotten a lot of the cards right and you feel like you really understand all the data structures and algorithms, now you, you can move on to the next process which is actually practicing questions to make sure you really understand these data structures and algorithms. A wise philosopher once said, elite code a day keeps unemployment away and I really kind of stand with that even though I don't practice it at all. I have better things to do. <laughs> So this next part of the process is just sort of applying the knowledge that you've gained. You're just going to take the time to use either Leap Code or you can use any of these two books to practice. Um, I have Cracking the Coding Interview over here. It's a great book for practicing interview questions and just practicing your knowledge of these data structures and algorithms. And then I also have this other book, Elements of the Programming Interview in Python, and this can be another way of practicing the knowledge that you've gained. And while you're also practicing, if there are questions that are really difficult, you can always go to YouTube. I'm gonna leave a couple people who are very helpful, who do a great job explaining different topics down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I hope this video gave you just a very general study method to really make sure that data structures and algorithms stick. I wanna wish you guys good luck during your process. I promise you, it is not brain science. You will be able to figure this out and you will be able to learn. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.